All right. Thought I'd get out on the big bike for a change. Um, and a little bit dirt. I was going to head down to another area that was going to be way more challenging, but um, you can see the sky. I don't know if you can or not, but uh, that wasn't going to be very conducive. It was starting to bucket rain where I was headed, so I decided to uh, not go there. Anyway, I'm going to go down here and then I'll jump on the road because I know this section gets way too rooted or rutted out. Now, one thing I noticed is that the uh, rear brake is almost inaccessible when you're standing up. In the back end, definitely good. Definitely got to slow down the uh, rebound. So I watched the video and it was someone riding one of these off-road and immediate thing they had to do was ease off, well, add a little bit more rebound dampening because the back end was coming back at them a little too hard. And it was kicking them in the ass and that's what this one's doing. The other thing I haven't figured out, it might be the slip control, so I'm at slip 7. You can see that. And that cuts in a little bit of traction control and it's not too much. It'll allow you to rock the back end, let it loose, but I'm not sure it allows you to lob the front end. Although I'm in rally mode with rally throttle and off-road, which should technically allow me to lob the front end and not cut power. But I don't know, uh, it, it, it's a long bike, it's a heavy bike, and I can't do wheelies on a light bike, so it is what it is. And that yeah, is a fact. I, I can't really do wheelies, but I can certainly lob the front end on my 300, and on the 500 it was even easier. On this bike no, no, here though, no. when I set its uh, traction control 7, no it, uh, to it does have that. settings from 0 to 9. And uh, 7 still is a bit invasive if you really roll on the throttle. I've tried 0, which is no traction stop. control, and with 110 horsepower at, on tap, uh, it's not really advisable. The rear brake lever is kind of hard to get to, but keep in mind I've made no adjustments to any of the controls on this bike. They are how they were set from the factory, and I wanted to spend the first thousand kilometers sort of adapting myself to the bike before I started making any changes. Uh, last thing I want to do is mud. So what do you think is the best? I think it's all pretty shitty. But I don't want to be sliding off a lip, so I might as well just take a trail. At least you think it's going to be. I'm a bit wary when I approach mud holes like this, particularly on an adventure bike. The bike that I used to ride in conditions like this was a BMW GSA, and it had a lot of weight behind it, as well as a lot of weight over that front wheel, which was smaller than this one. And yeah, if you got that stuck, you were going to get your PT on Maybe for the next hour. Like that, and two, ATV trails are notorious for having some pretty deep holes where people get stuck and then just spin their wheels endlessly trying to get out. This giant fat tire on the back just wants to go sideways on everything. This bike comes from the factory with TKC 80s on it, and I think it's a 150. It's a very wide tire, which is okay for road traction, but not so awesome off-road. 
and it doesn't help that I'm running road pressures and haven't increased the air pressure in the tires. So what's happening is as I try and cross a rut, the back tire wants to stay in that rut and turn sideways. So far, and mind you, it's a very limited exposure, I'm getting a real kick riding this bike off-road. It feels very comfortable. Zone. That's something that I noticed on the road just as much as I have in this short off-road trip. Um, the friction zone where the clutch engages is very much at the end of the release of the lever and it's very small. Um, on road you can shift without using the clutch, uh, particularly on this bike. It has the rally pack and the tech pack that allows you to just shift and it flips the throttle for you to uh, make that shift easier. Um, I use it 50% of the time and it's kind of kind of neat. I don't know jury's out on that one but I have ordered a part that makes the clutch pull a lot easier but also increases that friction zone so I'm looking forward to that uh, arriving and installing it so I, I really did want to get out on this and ride a bit more off-road Eventually, do a uh, trip with Hugo and uh, some people. That will be a dual sport, big bike friendly trip, I suspect. Ugh, not much. It's going to be an overnight at camper, and I want to make sure that I'm reasonably confident on this bike. I wish I could understand how to lob the front end, but. Given I can barely do that on my dirt bike, um, this isn't the tool to learn on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna hit the highway, a short trip home. replacement for the 500 EXC and not a replacement for the BMW GSA uh, but if you took those two bikes and threw them together that's what you get <laughs> 